It is time for Colour, Colour Me happy. happy. Let's have fun on Colour Me Happy. Watercolour special on Colour Me Happy. With me, Ben Mosby on Colour Me Happy. Other side of the studio is Colour Me Happy. <laughs> oh, no, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's Friday, it's Colour Me Happy, Debbie's here for Colour, Colour Me happy. happy, Watercolour Special on Colour, Colour Me happy. happy, are you ready for Colour, Colour Me Happy? happy. Hello and a very good evening, uh, welcome along to Crafters TV, my name is Ben Mosby, uh, good afternoon, it is Friday Fry, yay, whoop whoop whoop, uh, we have had a good two hours off, we are supercharged by uh, fish and chips, or in Debbie's case, a battered sausage and chips, two battered sausages and chips, and we are ready and raring to go to bring you two hours of fun here on Colour Me Happy, and over the course of the uh, next couple of hours, we've got some great deals to bring to you, but a Colour Me Happy show that is gonna be focused on one particular element, I suppose, of colouring. Uh, Debbie, correct me if I'm wrong, hopefully I'm right, we're gonna be looking at watercolour, aren't we, over the we next couple of hours? We certainly are, Tell yes. More. Everything watercolour, so whether it be, I haven't got no samples, I was gonna get some samples to show you. Oh, that's all right. So it's because we I, I was singing, yeah. yeah it's because I was singing. Do the important stuff first. Yeah, all the important and stuff um, yeah let's just grab some samples though so we're going to be looking at our sparkle pens obviously so many different things you can do with them creating gorgeous designs like this uh, using them behind your uh, die cuts they just look amazing now anyone that knows watercoloring means that you can paint directly with them uh, you can use we're going to be doing one just like this Not we're going to be doing the giraffe ages. I know I think it's been out of uh, out of stock I think it's back in because I haven't had it for such a long time so if you love those animals you've got to get hold of them uh, and then we've got the gorgeous birthday florals on as well and honestly the price is so good on there uh, yeah we've got something for everyone and we're going to be showing techniques we're going to be showing backgrounds some faux bleaching uh, and it's going to be a lot of fun so uh, stay with us for the next couple of hours Absolutely, it's going to be amazing. Uh, you know, we're going to have a laugh. We're going to bring you the education. We're going to bring you the entertainment. Hello to Christy Lazar, who says, Hi from Yakima, Washington. It is going to be warm today. It has been warm today here in the Northeast. We were out there earlier on to tell you what, fish and chips, all oh, out in about, it must have been 24, 25 degrees. Very nice indeed. Uh, Lynn says, Hi, Ben, Debbie, the CTV team, and everyone. Uh, Laurie Erlau says, Hello from Hillard, Ohio, checking in on a very busy day. Hello, all crafters and the Seat Seat team. Uh, and Alison Soberman uh, Maylie says, Hello again, everyone from Brooklyn, New York. It is a scorcher today. Wherever you look, it is a scorcher. And I tell you what, we have got some scorching deals on the show for you as well. What I want to do is um, basically break down. We've got to buy the show bundle, all right? We have got an unbelievable watercolor bundle for you. However, let's break it down for you first of all and then show you the value for money uh, in this collection. So, breaking it down uh, within the main collection you are going to get the sparkle glitter brush uh, collection 18 piece pen set so you've got all of those beautiful colors in there this is the um the rebox rebranded collection which brings you your um, essential brights your soft pastels and antique vintage you've got your earthly natural and um, tint and tones in there plus you've got your clear overlays as well £51.96 or $67.80 is the platinum price if you want to go for those individually this evening. Now, um, also on the show, we have got the tricolours. And again, these are brilliant. Um, it's also this deal giving you the storage case as well. 12 markers, but you'll know with these, it basically works out that you've got three colours within each of those pens. All again, watercolour based, so perfect for your blending, uh, perfect for so many different techniques. And within, in this bundle, as I said, you are gonna get your uh, neutrals, your uh, floral meadow, your great outdoors, and also your colour basics. That storage wallet also comes in this bundle as well, if you wanna go for that individually. 2880 or 4240, and keen-eyed viewers, yes, will notice that that basically works out that you're getting these storage for free free we've got ink pads on the show for you as well again uh, water reactive of these and this is a massive bundle of ink pads for you let me just go through the colors that you're going to receive in this you're going to get with this collection uh, lagoon chinese red pink tulip lemon tonic sandstorm orange pine tree grasshopper parakeet ocean blue spring meadow and your pale fig <laughs> not 
<laughs> not as George said when he was here last week, pale pig on Saturday. It's, def <laughs> it's definitely pale fig. Um, that deal uh, you can get. Nicola's fa fast hands, Nicola. I was just for the individuals I was looking for. Fifty pounds or seventy dollars. She's quick on the draw. McGraw is our Nicola. But listen, if you decide you like the look of everything that I have just shown you, the way to go is to go and get this, the Mega Bundle. It's our watercolour Mega Bundle with everything that I've just shown you. 30 pens, 13 ink pads and storage wallet. What a buy. Should be almost £195, should be uh, $268. You're paying £135 today, £185 today, but you're not paying that, are you not? Because you are a Platinum member, £108 for Platinum members, $148 um, is the price if you're shopping with us in the US. So free shipping, of course, on this bundle as well. I would just say to you, uh, it is a great way uh, to get started with your watercolouring because you've literally got everything that you need right there. No faffing about, no messing about. It is all right there. Jump in and grab this. But as we said, if you want to go for the individual bundles, you can do as well. We've also got some fantastic uh, stamp and die sets coming up for you in a bit, which we will talk about. But let's get on over to the other side of the studio and uh, chat to our Debbie. Um, I'm a big fan of all of our watercolour products, Debbie, because I kind of feel that there's so many different things that you can do technique-wise with watercolour um, oh, pendants. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, for me, when anyone ever asks us um, what the easiest thing to start with if you want to get into colouring, anything that's water-based uh, yeah. is the easiest thing. So for me, your water-reactive ink pads are your absolute must-have core tool because they're the ones that are going to blend, they're going to give you all that um, sort of using with your water using with your sparkle brush pens uh, they're going to give you all that versatility on them uh, and then to have your um, aqua pens uh, in the tri blend are actually incredible yeah. because you're getting those three different colors that will all blend beautifully together so all the hard work's been taken out of it for you mm -hmm. but we're going to start with the um, sparkle pens so I'm going to use that gorgeous owl. So Sarah Kay, she's a, a designer. That's really good. Thank you. That was really good. That's yeah. a good owl as well, I isn't it? I actually thought an owl was in the building. <laughs> wow. You're so clever, Ben. Am I? Yeah, you're so clever. You're very talented, even oh. with your owl noises. <laughs> I didn't think anything would be better than your Arnold Schwarzenegger, and actually, I think your owl's just beaten it. Hey, come on. My <laughs> name is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. I, I literally <laughs> want you to talk like that all the time hey, to me. Well, I will. Maybe on the show in the future. I'll do it all the time. Go, come on, Debbie. Get down with the demos. Do it now. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's just brilliant. Um, the, it's deta so good. The, de the details for your uh, illustrated animal stamp and die set <laughs> on the page for you here. <laughs> um, we'll recap on everything for you in that bundle in just a second. <laughs> they're all doing, they're all doing. <laughs> John's doing our um, Arnold impressions now as well. <laughs> Stop that, come on, don't do that. <laughs> Oh, I wish I could do impersonation. You do an impersonation then. We've had this conversation before. <laughs> What's the, you do it, the impersonation of... Don't, don't tell me, I'm trying to remember. It Who's the impression? Really bad. You do an impression of... Sean Connery. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Bad. Come on, Debbie. I can't do it. Come on. Oh, yes. Splendid, Mr. Money Betty. Splendid owl. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. So, <laughs> we haven't even started yet, Ben. <laughs> Come on, the owl, do it! Come on, do it now! <laughs> right, come on, serious now. Brilliant, so right. brilliant. Debbie. Uh, okay, so your sparkle pens. Um, these have uh, been refigured and put into uh, g really good groups that you're going to be uh, colouring with. Uh, so I've got our earthy neutrals here and I'm going to be using the brown. Uh, but what I'm also going to be using it with, I'm, I've just took out of the other pack our um, uh, Firefly uh -huh. and also our clear sparkle. Uh, because I want to, because this brown's quite a deep colour, but I also want to make a light 
lighter colour as well. So to start with, what I'm going to do is just put some of this colour down. Now, for anyone that's not seen our sparkle pens, our sparkle pen has this barrel here, so you can see all the liquid is inside there. You've got a little push in the design here, so you can just about see it in there. Yep, ah, oh, brilliant, Nicola. And you've also got that on the other side as well. And it means when you place it between your finger and thumb, you give gentle squeezes, not big pushes. Okay. Now, if you want to give a big push, you can. And what that is like giving birth, isn't it? <laughs> I was thinking of myself. I'm glad you said it. <laughs> I'm just going to give it a shake. Um, but what you would do is give it a, a squeeze and mm -hmm. then you'll get some of that ink come out onto your uh, your glass mat. Okay. Um, so I'm going to have some of that because I want to sort of pick that up with my clear sparkle. Now your clear sparkle pens are brilliant because not only um, have, uh, do they just have a, a, an amazing sparkle in them, you can mix these with all your other ones. So you can start picking, so I can pick up just a little bit of here and start painting it Does that not then, my sorry, design. Does that not then contaminate the nibble brilliant, of your brush? Brilliant, yeah, brilliant. So I was going to uh, say that, but I'm glad you asked it. It, 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 it could stain your brush. Uh, it's not likely to because it's a light colour, but it won't contaminate your nib. So once you finish with it, Ben, what I would do is you just wipe it on the side. And once you wipe it on the side, once it goes clear, it's all ready to go again. <laughs> so going to pop this down and we're just going to put a little bit of colour into here before we add our brown. And I'm only, I really am only using a small amount of colour. And then we're going to... Uh... <laughs> there he is, for everyone who wanted to see him. <laughs> you just can't keep away, can he? Seriously. He's enjoying the show from the studio. <laughs> Get out of me box! <laughs> so all I'm doing is mixing that with that gorgeous uh, lemon. So it gives us a little bit of extra uh, shading. Yeah. And then I'm going to start getting darker just around here. So they're so easy because you've got that really small uh, nib on there. Yeah. And the reason I'm doing this, because, and I will show you, is if I was to put this directly to it, look at the difference, look how dark that is. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah. really, really dark. So the way to do it is to put a little bit onto your glass mat and pick it up with your clear sparkle pen. So it's a really nice way of adding different shading in. And that's why you need all the colours because all of them will blend beautifully together. So we're just going to continue to pop this up. Um. Lena on Facebook says, a sparkle owl almost sounds like spowl. <laughs> uh, put, don't start that again. Funny enough, we were talking about rhyming words. <laughs> we were. Um, uh, Patricia says, seeing uh, Leanne demo water reactives last year is what got me hooked on CTV. Before that, I didn't even know these shows existed. Oh, um, that's brilliant. And Eileen just saying, seriously, I would tune in just to hear Debbie laugh. Uh, it <laughs> makes my day and it gets me laughing too. <laughs> um, and Laura, don't get too excited. Uh, John is not reading us bedtime stories tonight. He's just in, well, he's supposed to be working, actually, but he's, um, he's, he's having a sit down. Oh, he's worked hard, though, today. Uh, he's got to have a break. Uh, oh, he's, oh sorry, he's planning the shows for tomorrow. He's planning them on all, the bits and, all the bits and pieces. He is working hard, just in case any of the bosses are listening. <laughs> in case any of the bosses are working. Yeah. <laughs> So you can see how beautiful is that starting to look. So then I'm going to go back in with the, the lemon and we're just going to put some lemon into those wings. How amazing is this stamp as well, by the way? Uh, honestly, yeah, if you didn't get them first time, because I'm pretty sure they must have only just come back into uh, yeah, stock. Yeah, I think, because this is the first time I've seen them since the launch. Yes, personally. me too. Yeah, they all sold out. You absolutely love them. So anyone that didn't get them, absolutely get them now because they are stunning. Um, they stamp beautifully, they're photopolymer, uh, which means they're a really high quality stamp. Uh, and they're just fun, aren't they? So much fun. And we have so many beautiful designs of them. And then I'm going to mix the both now, so we can just do that, his face. So say his, that could be a female. Could be. Do, um, I'm sure, uh, male, male birds wear feathers in their hair. 
not What's feathers, that? not feathers. Mailbirds definitely have feathers in the air. I would say flowers, so. Flowers, not feathers. Flowers. <laughs> <laughs> What was that? <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> Paula says, Debbie, I just love watching your demos. Beside being a fantastic and talented teacher, your laughter and giggles make any bad day turn fabulous. Oh, you're um, all just so kind today. And uh, Diane says, Ben, did you get a chance to check out Debbie's fancy car? Do you know what I did? I didn't oh, no, get a chance to check it out. We were too busy stuffing our faces. Yeah, we were too busy eating. With fish and chips. And also, um, Debbie was having a battered sausage. And... Um, <laughs> Two battered sausages. I, and I mentioned that because Gwenda said, is a battered sausage the same as a corn dog in the US? Um, um, what's a corn dog? Oh, no, a corn dog's like a, a sausage, like a tinned hot dog sausage uh, okay. that's in like a, a battered, a batter mixture. It's like in a batter mixture. Uh, okay. It's very good. Yeah. Um, actually, I've just picked up one that hasn't been primed, which is really good because it gets me the chance to show you how you prime them. So when you get them, give them a shake and you can see my nib is completely clear. Uh, I've got nothing, my barrel has gone down so it's gone into there, but none of your ink will come out until you squeeze it. So once you then squeeze it, you can see it all fills up into that barrel. And then I can put that little piece down on there. And again, I am going to pick these up. You can colour direct. Please don't think you can't colour direct. But I just don't want to get that um, the darkness of it. I want to uh, just weaken that down a little bit. But what you still get is you still get the intense sparkle, like you would if you were um, uh, if you were you if you were just it, even though we're putting um, water it down with the sparkle pen because yeah. it's a sparkle we're still getting that intensity and like you said I really think these um, sparkle pens help to kind of catapult your coloring to the next level oh totally yeah totally and you can get re you can really get in there with precision because of um, uh, because you've literally got that tiny little um, little uh, leaf mm. So I'm going to just give my green one there and then what I'm going to do is show you how, so anybody that loves their alcohol colouring, uh, I'm going to show you how you can use your sparkle pen to sparkle that up. Oh, so okay. just bringing that in just for our leaves around the edges. So I haven't got anything finished for this one, I just really wanted to show you how beautiful these go down and how lovely your owl can look. So popping them on to there. Right, so there's our first one with our owl. I've just dropped a piece. So even though I've dropped that there, I'm going to just wash this off. The reason I'm not worried about what goes round these, just in case anyone is wondering, is because you have a die with these as well to cut them out. You do. So just in case no one realised, I'm just going to try and work that colour in. The die actually, because I remember this from the launch, it, it cuts out the... So in the case of the owl there, for example, it cuts out the, the head and the wing, so it gives you kind of like almost like a decoupage um, mm -hmm. effect with them. It's really yeah, clever Yeah, absolutely. System. Yeah, if I bring them in, you'll be able to see. So it actually cuts out this part. Yeah. So you get this bit there. Um, so yeah, you sort of, sort of can cut around the body and then you've got that extra bit to cut out. So what I'm going to do with this one now is just bring in my sparkle pen. This has been coloured with our alcohol markers. And then if you just go over the top, you can make any of your images is uh, into a sparkle topper yeah so such a good way to uh, to go for these so I would definitely recommend going for the um, the clear ones but going for that oh actually if you're, you're going for the whole pack the clear ones are in there aren't they I'm doing this and then just yes thinking, I thought they were yep thought they were and of course this, the whole of this collection is within the um, the mega bundle as well but it's nice that you can pick and choose if you want to you can go for the mega bundle if you like because you get a bit of everything but yeah look at what you can create I and love as that. that dries you've got that intense sparkle with no yeah. lines through there you've just got that even shimmer all the way through and the more it dries the more sparkly that will get but that's what you can do with your markers and they look stunning Absolutely right. Um, a brilliant demo of the um, Sparkle Glitter Brush Pens. 18, you're going to get in total for $51.96 or $67.80. But remember, if you want to go for the full collection as well, then those are included within our mega bundle, um, along with your tricolours and your storage, along with all of uh, those water reactive ink pads included as well. It's 30 pens, 13 ink pads, 
and the storage wallet as well. Uh, 108 pounds is the platinum price on this, or 148 dollars um, if you're platinum. And again, remember, if you are shopping with us in the US, that qualifies you for your free shipping as well, which is just brilliant. Uh, loving the coloring, says um, Patricia. Any questions that you've got as well during this show, anything that you wanna know about watercolor in particular, then do get those questions in and we will fire them uh, towards Debbie over the course of this show. But let us just show you the animals. Um, these are brilliant. I remember we launched these. We actually had um, Sarah with us on the launch, didn't we? Um, over in our Spectrum Noir corner. And it was ace to chat to her um, and get her take on these amazing, amazing images. And like Debbie was showing you, what you're going to get, you've got the stamp with each of these with that um, sentiment as well. But then you also get um, a die to cut out a portion of the stamp here. So in the case of the owl, you've got the, um, the head and the wing there. So it's giving you that kind of like 3D effect um, once you stamp these out. Then on top of that, look here, come on, that giraffe is amazing. Stand tall and born to be wild. It's like, they're sort of, sort of quite cartoon. Do you know what I mean? It's like a cross between like cartoon, but also very real to life as well. The way that she's captured all of these different animals, I think is amazing. There's your giraffe who's included. The elephant, um, dream big. Without love, life would be irrelevant. Come on, that is brilliant. Um, so again, you get the die there, which allows you to cut out uh, the elephant's uh, ears and trunk there as well. On top of that, you you've got your... your Sarah Dunn, sorry to interrupt you there. Yeah. But I, there's, I think we need to do some farm animals. Farm so, animals? Yeah, so if, uh, if Sarah's out there, I think she needs to do a sheep, a horse, a pig. All those things I think would be lovely on there. Well, you can, uh, you can put it to her then, a uh, farm house collection. Uh, this one, no sheep, no pigs, no cows. Can offer you a unicorn though, uh, which I think potentially uh, more popular than a sheep when it comes to um, crafting. Uh, stand out, have a magical day <laughs> and believe in yourself. And then your beautiful butterfly. No collection would be complete, would it not, uh, without a gorgeous butterfly. Uh, best wishes and uh, welcome to the world. So clever, as I say, because you get the gorgeous artwork um, that our Sarah has done for you there with the die to be able to cut out part of the image to create these gorgeous, gorgeous projects. Um, we haven't had these back in stock for long. As we said, uh, whenever we launched these, I, I want to say it's probably two months ago now, they flew out the door. We've now gotten back and look at the price. £50.40 or $57.60 is the deal on that one. And if you love that deal, we've got back for you, I think, one of the best deals that we've done of recent times with the uh, birthday month floral stamp and die collection. This is amazing because you're gonna get 223 elements, so you've got all of the stamps to be able to create these gorgeous flowers. And the stamps, by the way, come with dies to be able to cut out uh, the main elements of the flowers. So you've got stamps and dies for each of these. And let's just quickly, before I go through the boards, check out the savings here. So this is worth over 200 pounds, worth over $239. Everyone saves £123 today. Let's just let that sink in for a second. £123 or $144, uh, which is £80 or $95. And then, of course, Platinum members, another 20% off. £64 or $76 for this deal. And I think I'm right in saying, am I not? It is not on the screen, but I can confirm that you will get... 100 bonus points as well. What? These are flying out the door again. A third of the stock has already gone. Got to be the deal of the show. Uh, you're going to get in this collection a different flower for each of the months. So it's the, um, the birth month uh, of, of each flower, if you like. So you've got your carnation for January. Uh, next up, you have got the gorgeous primrose for February. And again, you'll get the dyes to cut out the main portions of the flowers and then all the added extras as well and some beautiful sentiments included. Next up is the daffodil for March. Really stunning, nice big images as well uh, to get all of your, um, you know, your tricolors into, get your sparkle pens into as well. It's entirely up to you. Next up is April, which is the daisy, uh, the gorgeous daisy. All of these, as I say, with some lovely, lovely sentiments. 
Uh, for May, it is the lily of the valley. Do you know what yours is for June, Debbie? Uh, rose. You are correct. Uh, <laughs> next, you have that gorgeous rose. Uh, you're my best bud. It's one of the lovely sentences Aww, there. Oh, thanks, Ben. Oh, it's one of the... Oh, yes, yes, no, yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, Delphinium for July. Uh, you've also got your gladiolus for August. September is your aster. October is your marigold. Then in November, it is... I'm trying to remember, November, November, November... No, it's gone. Oh, yes, the one I can never say, chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum. And then uh, lastly, you have got... Uh, the poinsettia. So, flowers for every month of the year. How amazing to be able to make a card for uh, you know, th that person in your life with a flower which is particular to their birth month, or actually, you can just use these all year round. You've got 12 amazing flowers to create some amazing projects with. Over a third of the stock has already gone. Got to be the deal of the show here. I mean, the, the, the mega bundle is amazing, but look, £64 or $76 for a $200 or $240 uh, set is just phenomenal. And 100 bonus points. It is madness. It is crazy, uh, Johnny and Nicola. Grab this collection whilst you can. I think we're going to have a little look at this with uh, our Debbie over the other side of the studio. Are you going to be working with the rose then or a different one? Um, I wasn't working with any of them. Oh. <laughs> is that what we're supposed to be doing? I can, oh. I can switch to that oh, one. Oh, no, it's fine. It's, no, you show us what you want. I, I was going to go to... <laughs> <laughs> I should have thought because we were doing them, but I had in my mind that I wanted to show you the pens. But actually... Oh, show us the pens. Let's, yeah, we could bring in the pens, but I can also bring in one of those dies. So um, let's just grab one. We can always um, improvise, can't we? We so like I'm a just, bit of crafty improv. Absolutely. So I'm taking the top one, which is our April Daisy. Um, oh, just like your Daisy. Yes, look. and my birth month as well. Oh, is it? Yeah. That's lovely. That's so nice. We got. I've got my god goddaughter's called Daisy. Oh yeah, mm. such a lovely name. Isn't it, it is a really pretty name. Yes. Because you got a poppy as well. I've got a poppy. Yes, nearly had a lily. Um, but when Kyra come out, she just didn't look like a lily. It's funny how people say that, isn't it? Because mm -hmm. Daisy was going to be a Grace, and she didn't look like a Grace, so she was a Daisy. Yeah, funny, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, all the way through, I had Lily for a girl, and um, yeah, she just did not look like a lily. She mm. wishes now that she was called Lily. She loves the name Lily, but unfortunately, <laughs> said she could pay to change her name. <laughs> did you have a holding name for your babies? It's like when the because we like we obviously they, you call it Bump, don't you? But then we had uh, Daisy. We all. all Called it her, her name when she was. Um, Did you know she, no, she was a girl? Uh, we, yes, we found out? out about Daisy, but we uh, we didn't find out uh, for George. She was our first one, but her holding name was Tumsy. Tumsy, that's <laughs> yeah. so cute. Because <laughs> we could you know decide on the name there and then. But oh, look at this. that is so cute! Beautiful. Look how beautiful that stamps out. I mean, absolutely incredible. And actually, while it's there, I'm going to also put a sentiment stamp on it. So let's have a look. So let's put "Have a lovely day," and I'm going to pop that right next to the corner because I love how we can do this with our um, stamping platform. I don't even need to worry about taking my stamp off. I can just go, oh, I do because, oh, I think it's done it. It's just because it's caught a little bit on that side. So I'm just going to bring that one off and then we will ink that up. So I'm using the flagstone water um, proof because it will stop it then from going onto, um, onto when it gets wet, it will stop it from... Um, Smudging. What's, I can't remember. What, I, what am I saying, Ben? Uh, you're stamping Stop the... it from... <laughs> What's the word? Uh, like, um... Stop it from smudging. bleeding. Smudging. Bleeding. Smudging. <laughs> I did say... I'm sure I said smudging. Oh, I, sorry, I didn't hear you. That's fine. Don't worry Apologies. About it. Apologies. <laughs> Look at that. Really beautiful stamp that goes with there. So, let's pop that on there. Uh, yeah, if you want the flagstone, details are uh, on the screen for you now. And um, quick question from Patricia who says, mm -hmm. do the finesse ink pads dry quickly like the quick dry pads or more slowly? Uh, do these dry quickly? Mm. Um, right, so I'm going to do you a demo right now. Oh, okay. And yeah, I love doing things like this because it has that real wow factor. Crafty improv. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to just pop this on and this will show you just how good they are. So let me pop that there and just grab myself a piece of card. And there we go. 
pop that on the centre. That should be about right. And actually, uh, I'm going to take that off because what I am going to do is bring in my little cup of water. Oh, okay. And in fact, I'm going to tip some of that out right. so I don't put too much everywhere. And this will show you how good our ink pads are. Oh, hang on a minute, I've got an experiment going on here. Oh yeah, absolutely. So, I'm going to load that up with plenty of... <gasps> that was that was close, <laughs> wasn't it? Good job, it did have a lot of, lot of um, water in there. So, I'm going to pop that down. I'm going to have my water at the ready, okay. literally. And what's Take that off. Um, I've stayed with this, so look at that. So, what, what is on there though? And what? this one is the flagstone, it's the waterproof finesse. Right. So, this is waterproof. Now, look at that. Now, I know I haven't stamped that brilliantly, but not one piece of that smudges. Yeah, got It's you. such a good demo to do, and it's really impactful because actually, I've had inks in the past that when I've then started to paint onto them, they start to bleed around the edges, and that's not what you want. And you can see none of that doesn't matter where that goes, oh, it's hello. soaking in, but it's completely, it's absolutely, yes. Nicola is the queen, isn't she? I was thinking our um, Charlotte was, I think she might, yeah, she might have lost the title. Whoa! You <laughs> but even when that comes back. off, none of that has bled at all. So yeah. it really is an absolutely brilliant ink pad to have. So if you want something that's trustworthy and it will last you through all your stamping, this is definitely the one to go for. And the alcohol one, uh, we've not got no alcohol on the show at the moment, but next time, remind me, because I, I know you will, next time we do a, um, a demo with the alcohol markers, um, I'll do exactly the same thing and scribble the whole p alcohol pen over the top and it's perfect every single time. So, yeah, it dries instantly. That's the, the answer. It took a bit of a long while to say that dries instantly, but there you go. <laughs> it was good, good to, to have a, a good, impactful demo. So, bringing this Daisy one back in, now, we're going to go to our tri-blend markers. Now, what I love about these, Ben, is you can see I've got two, sorry, they're tri-colour, not tri-blend. These are totally different colours, uh, which is not what you expect in one of our tri-blend pens, because normally we blend the darkest, the medium and the light. Mm -hmm. Because these are watercoloured, it means that you can, you've got the blendability to take all these colours and blend them effortlessly. So if I want to do a background wash, I can do that with these colours, which is exactly what we're going to do. Um, because um, they're not because they are watercolored they just work really easy onto surfaces and then what it means is I can faux bleach so we're going to do a bit of everything on this one so we will do our background wash we're going to faux bleach and we're going to color in our flowers so a little bit of everything. I'm going to start off with my lightest colour. I'm also just going to wet my page because it will, t it will be much better um, being a little bit wetter to apply our paint. So I'm going to just pick that up and do that wash over the top there. And then I'm going to do that through the lemon and bring in the lemon. So nice and light. If you want deeper colour, then just don't add so much water. And then I'm going to do that pink, which will be the bottom piece there. So, washing that down. Picking that up. There we go. And I am just going to put some more yellow down to pick that up. Funny, isn't it, like how many times when we see you, um, not you, but you know, you guys demonstrate the tricolours, I would say nine times out of ten, it always goes on to the glass mat first. Yes. Very rarely do we see you using them as actual pens. No, not at all. It's because they just, you get more out mm. of them, get much more out of them. So that gives you that first part. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe away this. And then I'm going to come in with my water brush again. But this time I've got a smaller brush and I'm going to actually come in on those petals because what I want to do is a little bit of faux bleaching. So we think of faux bleaching as coming in and, uh, and this would probably work better. So if it doesn't take too well, I'm going to dry it off a bit because it's probably already quite wet. But this works brilliantly if it's dry. And what we want to do is we want to take that out. So we want to take the color that we've put in back out. So can you see that's yeah. starting to get lighter? So we can then go in and put some more water down and we can actually take out some of that colour. So this is a really nice technique of being able to, instead of masking off, because you've probably heard of us uh, sort of masking 
parts of um, our colours off, so we don't. So this stays white. But actually, this is another way of being so able. It's a quicker to do way it. of doing it then. Um, probably not. Well, I think they're probably both the same because you would take the time to paint your uh, drawing gum on. Mm. So a same amount of time you would probably take your water to it. Uh, but also, you don't need to, to take that out. You would be able to dry it and paint straight over the top. But it's just if you want a more faded effect. It's nice to get that, um, that some of that colour out. Mm. So let's just take that out. So you can see we're starting to really take that water out. So what I am going to do is just dry that off because if I then do that and go straight in with my water, no, sorry, straight in with my markers, um, that's just going to bleed because it will just react to the wetness around it. So by drying it off, it means it will, the cards will hold the colour a little bit better. Yeah. So just drying that off a little bit more. It's a great technique, I love it. Plenty. Yeah, there's so many different things that you can do with it. Yeah, plenty of lovely comments coming in as well, which we'll have a look at in just a bit. Really loving this demo particularly. So cool, isn't it? This is why we love like um, our tricolors, why we love our watercolor um, you know, um, items, because there's so many different things and different things that you can achieve with them. That's so really cool. I'm going to use the same pen. So this was the one we used. So let's say we want to go in with that pink. I'm mm -hmm. going to just, again, I'm going to take it to my, um, in fact, let's go in with the darkest colour first and then we'll blend out to the pink. So going in, you could also use your clear sparkle brush. So I'm just going to pop some of that darker colour throughout here. And then I'm going to go in with the lightest pink and start coming in from the edges and you don't want too much water on your brush so uh, you can always just dip it onto your kitchen towel pulling that in Susie T just saying the floral set's amazing it's one of my go-to's for all occasion yeah, cards I just too. stamped out uh, lots and when I'm coloring in a coloring mood I can just grab a couple to color whilst watching TV. Oh, what? I do exactly that. Oh, do you? Yeah, I have lots stamped out, all ready to just colour in when I feel like it. Yeah, loving the technique. Also, this is a, such a wonderful technique, says uh, Lena on YouTube. Oh, what a your voice then. YouTube. YouTube. Um, and Beth says, uh, this floral set is absolutely smashing. My awesome sister gave me this set uh, this past weekend. It is brilliant. Uh, loving the flowers, says Eleanor. Um, oh, and just whilst you're colouring as well, do you want another quick question? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Laura says, uh, hi, I've got a question about the blending tools. I have the small round ones. Do the bigger rectangular ones do a different job or do they give a better blend? Also, you two together have been a hoot. <laughs> Love it. Uh, do you know what's really funny about that is we all have our differences. Well, I don't know about the rest of the team, but I do know that Sarah, she prefers the rectangle ones. Okay. Uh, and I prefer the round ones. Right. And Sarah doesn't understand why, because in her head, she says that the round, the, the rectangle ones, you get more ink on them and cover a bigger surface. Yeah. Um, and then I was speaking to Leanne about it, and Leanne said she was with me. She actually prefers the circle ones. Right. Right. Um, I think it depends how you work with them. I work in circular motions, so the circle ones for me just flow better. I feel like you can get ink, and funny enough, I've literally got one at the side, which we're going to do next. Oh, okay. um, I've got the circle one here, so I will show you the difference in what they are, but actually, it's just personal choice. Okay. So uh, you really don't have to worry um, like what are good and bad because there are no bad they're both good in their own right it's just what you would prefer and also Sue's just asked and uh, again this is a valid question right because it goes back to what I was saying the amount of times we see the guys using the um, the pen straight onto the glass mat can the aqua markers be used just as a marker or always on a mat with water uh, can they be you yes can, they can absolutely can. Yeah. be used as a marker so if I go in with this marker if I go in with that dark color like I had there you'll be able to see how vivid these yeah. colors are and then you will just get your brush uh, and you can then just blend those out mm -hmm. through there so you can get that sort of differences and in fact it really does add that extra pop of color doesn't it just by I just feel like it sucks them up yeah. um, and I don't want to waste my ink. But you can see by doing that, and we can do the same with our yellow. I think it just shows you there's so many different ways to use them, isn't there, basically? Oh, totally. 
But actually, I've never really thought about going in with just the pen before, after you've actually watercolored it, but it really does add that intense color, doesn't it? So it looks come out quite 3D there. Mm. And then all I'm gonna do is, because my sides are dry, so I like to use the round one because I feel like I get less sort of harsh lines um, and it's just quicker to come in and get that pop of color around the edges. Yeah. Uh, so the square one or the, the rectangle one is just not one that I find um, as handy as the circle one. I know in particularly for what you're doing now, because surely it's easier to get that smoother edge to the card by using a circuit that's what I would have in my mind but and it is in my tool. mind but I have to tell you Ben I'm just going to grab the um I'm going to grab a, a square one just so this one's all, yeah and show it can be done um so you can do the same but it just feels more awkward to me you're not getting that um yeah, although it does work it's not and it doesn't make it any less I mean you can see it really it's quite and I get Sarah's point she's saying you can load it with a lot more ink so, um, yeah, just colouring up from there. So you can see it doesn't matter which one you use. It really is just personal choice. Horses for courses. Yeah, absolutely. And if you want to try both of them, uh, you might even find that you don't, find, you don't see it match any difference at all. Um, but I just find, because I do work in circular motions, the round one just seems to flow a lot better. Yeah. But look at that for a topper for your uh, card. Uh, and that literally is just stamping your flower and creating that really beautiful for topper for your card. It almost looks like the flowers are floating off the page. <laughs> Such a cool effect, isn't it? And again, showing you all the different things that you can achieve with the different watercolour mediums that we've got within our range. <laughs> it needs to be, I think, tonight that if you haven't yet dabbled as far as watercolour is concerned, that you have a bit of a go. This is a brilliant deal for the, um, the tricolours. And I'll show you very quickly um, the different colours that you will get within the collection. Um, because like Debbie was explaining, you've got um, three pens within each of the four sets that you've got. However, unlike the, um, the tri-blends where you get the three blends of the one colour, here you've got three different colours within each pen but will blend beautifully together for those watercolour effects. So you've got your colour basics which brings you your uh, contemporary, your cool primary and your warm primary and you can see the three colours that you've got in each pen and how they will blend nicely together. And of course the fact that you've got the colours that will blend means you can make more colours as well. You've then got your essentials neutral uh, which brings you your grey natural, your rich natural uh, and your um, earthy neutral as well. Then on top of that, three more pens, but nine more colours in the floral meadow, your uh, fresh verdant, your warm fiery, and your bright floral. And then the last set that you are going to get is the great outdoors, uh, which is your rich floral, uh, your uh, cool marine, and then also your uh, botanic natural. So 12 pens, 36 colours, and so many different techniques that you can do because of course they're all water-based. This is a great deal tonight because it's a 52 pound or $76 uh, collection. Platinum members tonight, 28 pounds 80 or $42.40. 40. Grab this one individually or however, if you would like to go for the full collection, you can do that as well. Within the mega bundle, you're gonna get uh, the um, tricolour pens, which I've just shown you. Oh, you get the storage as well, of course, don't you? Don't forget that. You've got the storage included as well. But then also, as we've already touched on, you're going to get your sparkle brush pens included with the clear overlay as well. And you've got all of those ink pads, the water reactive ink pads, um, in a whole host of colours. I'll list them for you. You've got baby blue, lagoon, Chinese red, pink tulip, lemon tonic, sandstorm, orange, pine tree, grasshopper, parakeet, ocean blue, spring meadow, and your pale fig as well. All in all, it's 30 pens, it's 13 ink pads, and a free storage wallet, almost 195 pounds or 268 dollars. It is 108 pounds or 148 dollars today for platinum members. And of course, if you're shopping with us in the US as well, that does qualify you, doesn't it, for the free shipping too. So plenty of reasons to love the bundles that we've got. If you can treat yourself to this bundle today, uh, more the better, because it is wonderful. Um, if you're brand new, you've got a little bit of everything right there. Uh, and don't forget, of course, if you are brand new and you haven't yet signed up to Club Inspire, you definitely need to do it, particularly with what we've got on the way launching on Sunday. Bit of food for thought there, and uh, time to check out your baskets right now. So let's give you time to do that. And whilst you do that, here is some more information. 
We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our Gold and Platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, what a Friday we are having. You guys are loving this show, I tell you what. Um, uh, we, we have got so many popular items on the show. Um, the Mega Bundle's proving really popular, a big hit with you guys, which is great. Um, also proving really popular, items to go with it, because you know what, you're getting all of these um, great watercolour goodies. You want some uh, items to be able to stamp and then colour. Um, so we've got the birthday flowers, which are proving hugely popular. Those, remember, have been smashed down to a super low price and you're getting 100 bonus points as well. And the, um, the, the animals too, but the, the woodland florals, as I say, uh, sorry, the woodland florals, the birthday florals are proving so, so popular. Uh, 223 elements, 200 pounds, $240, not today, friends. 80 pounds or 95 dollars everybody saves 123 88 or 144 40. are you joking me uh 64 pounds or 76 dollars if you are a platinum member unbelievable you're gonna get in this collection uh all of these stamps, they come along with your uh, dies as well uh, to be able to cut out the main flowers. And there's a flower for every month. I, did, I didn't even know until this set came out that my month is all about the daisies. But January is carnation. February is your primrose. Whoever asked earlier on what uh, March was, daffodil. That's the, um, the Welsh national flower, isn't it, daffodil? Is that Johnny's? Yep, Johnny's a the daffodil. Uh, there's mine, the April. When's your birthday, Nicola? Oh, you're a 26th of December, Boxing Day. You've got to wait all year round. That's not brilliant, is it? Do you get more presents? So you only get one set of presents, Nicola? Oh, dear. I'll get you something for your birthday this year. I'm up here. No, I won't get you a Christmas... I won't get you a Christmas present, I'll just get you something for your birthday. Uh, Lily of the Valley is May. Uh, then you've got um, Debbie's, the rose, in June. Uh, Delphinium for July. How great is this full-on florist shop here? You've got your gladiolus for August. You've got your aster for September. When's your birthday, John? When's your birthday? September. September. Uh, oh, so yours is a, an aster. Did you know that, your flower? Your, no. uh, there you go. You're an aster. I've always said that about you. Um, your uh, 
October is Marigold, November is your Chrysanthemum, and then December, Nicola, you are the Poinsettia. This is possibly the deal of the show because not only do you save a huge amount of money, not only do you um, get a wonderful collection, but you make a huge saving and you get 100 bonus points on top of it all as well. Um, Susie T just telling us she paid $170, uh, worth every penny at that price when it launched. And she's saying an, a, amazing when she got it, but to get it now for this price is absolutely bonkers. So let us go over to the other side of the studio and uh, have another look at, uh, are we staying with this collection? Oh no, we're going to the animals. All right, all right, we're going to do the animals. Listen, Ben, to what you're being told. Uh, we have also got uh, the animals in as well. Now, uh, the illustrated animal <laughs> stamp and die set uh, includes 25 elements. And I'll tell you for why. Because you've got the stamps with each of these and then you've got a die included as well uh, to be able to cut out just a portion of the stamp to give you that sort of um, 3D effect. So if I can, you can't really see it on the side there. But basically, this one cuts out the head of the owl and the wing there as well gives it a really, really um, kind of cool look to it. You've got the giraffe as well. Somebody said earlier on in the comments that they um, use a giraffe for their daughter's birthday and their daughter absolutely loved it. Who was it who said that? Um, oh, I can't find it now, but yeah, really, really gorgeous image. This is my fave within uh, the collection. Then you've got the gorgeous elephant as well with the best sentiment, which is just amazing. It is, uh, without love, life would be irrelevant. Love that. Great sentiment. Uh, the unicorn, I mean, come on, everybody uh, loves a unicorn and the collection would not be a collection without it. And then last but by no means least, uh, you have got the, uh, the gorgeous butterfly included as well with some wonderful sentiments. £50.40 or $57.60 is the, uh, the deal on this one if you're a Platinum member. But what is Debbie going to be using from the collection? It looks like to appear over there. Have you got the giraffe? There? I got the giraffe, yes. My favourite animal. What's yours? Is that right? Yeah, giraffe is my favourite animal. I love, oh my God, I adore them. Um, Absolutely adore them. It's my favourite animal. Well, I like dogs and cats, but outside of, outside of animals... Zoo animals. Um, do you know what I find, I've found really interesting over the last few years is um, uh, sloths. The, the really oh, small. sloths are amazing. Yeah. My daughter's uh, favourite animal is sloths. Yeah, and yeah. Um, koala bears as well, I like. Oh, they're cute and cuddly. Yeah, they're very cute. Koalas. They are very cute. Um, I like elephants as well. All right, Ben, only one. Oh. <laughs> Okay, sorry. <laughs> we need like um, fun, like these are fun stamps, aren't they? But I reckon we need like really funny stamps, maybe like animals in their undercrackers would be great, wouldn't it, to see? Just something like like really quirky, really funny. They could have polka dot underpants on, couldn't what they? What are you all about? I mean, that would be, that would be, uh, that would be funny. That would be funny. Um, I mean, you've come up with some great ideas on this show, haven't you? Farmyard collection and um, animals in their animals undercrackers in their collection. Animals in their undercrackers, I mean, yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah, seriously. <sighs> right, so we've got our um, lovely giraffe stamped out there. I mean, how beautiful do these stamp out? Absolutely gorgeous. Now, what we are going to do is we're going to still stay on our tricolours uh, and I'm going to use this one here, which is our Earthy Neutrals. Um, and we're going to use this one for our giraffe. And again, I'm going to place the pen onto the side and bring in my water brush. Mm -hmm. So, and we're just going to paint that there. I'm really liking the idea of sort of quirky... Uh, quirky farmyard animals, animals. In fact, I think it's coming near to the time where we've got to um, put the um, put some ideas in to the design team. Is, we've already done that, haven't we? Yeah, in fact, not long ago, but I think we're doing it twice a year now. Oh, really? Because we're so busy, yeah. I put a load of ideas in um, last time, but uh, I don't think any of my, my ideas that I uh, put forward were brought to the brought to the table, which is oh, a bit sad. Are you not going to tell us what any of them were? No. 
No, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassed now because they didn't get chosen, so they obviously weren't good enough. <laughs> Dieta likes the idea of animals in pajamas, though. I mean, that would be quite fun, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be, be brilliant. Be, be quite fun. Oh yeah, um, undercrackers, pajamas. Yeah, the hippo in pajamas is the is the famous one over here, isn't it? That uh, bed company. That's it. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Johnny's got what? A free hippo? <laughs> what did you get? When you bought the bed, you got a free hippo? You got a free hippo in pyjamas? Oh no, that's Oh, a cuddly toy, you mean? Oh, right. I was going to say, it was a real hippo. Can you imagine <laughs> getting that hippo into bed at the end of the night? You'd get a bit of tennis elbow trying to roll that thing in, wouldn't you? I tell you what. Oh, you certainly would, yeah. That was a cuddly would, toy. Yeah, a cuddly that. toy. <laughs> You guys, you guys. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, it would be, um, it really would be uh, quite painful, wouldn't it? <laughs> lots of, uh, lots of your, lots of um, people loving your suggestion of uh, animals in their, in their undercrackers. I mean, seriously. Wow. Put that one forward at the next meeting. Yes, I think I will. I was me and Craig were talking about it today of what we're going to put forward. Is that something you guys have to do? Is like you know, um, and we're I, just, I, I know we, we don't have to. We just asked if um, if there's anything. Yeah, I've had quite a few things. So um, yeah, the edibles, the centerpiece, um, uh, the centerpiece creator card. They were my idea. Yep, yeah, they were my idea. That was yours. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So, and, and that's exactly what I named them. I named them um, Creator Card Center, uh, Centerpiece Creator Cards, yes. And how do you... So do you take inspiration? Do you, I mean, do you have a look around when you come up with ideas and then like... So, yeah, sort of. I mean, all yeah, I, it's really weird how my brain works. I mean, how you're all starting to notice how my brain works anyway. <laughs> um, but I t I'm a bit like at Christmas. Christmas is never off my, my brain. Yeah. I'm shopping for Christmas all year round. Um, I've got loads of Christmas presents. What, now? Yeah. Yep. Wow. I because mean, that I is... just, it's constantly on my mind. And I'm the same when sort of designing. I've got constantly things in my mind. Yeah. Um, so when it comes to sort of thinking what we want on the design, for the designs, I've already got stuff in my mind whirling around. Or I could be doing this and suddenly think to myself, oh, that's a great idea. I'll uh, put that forward. Yeah. Uh, and I also have a Pinterest board. Uh, so yes. anything that I um, like the look of, I will just uh, pin it onto a board and then I'll grab ideas from there and, and sort of enhance them or put more to them and, uh, yeah, do it like that. So, th so that is a, another good way, isn't it, of um, getting ideas? Because a lot of people chat about Pinterest. It is a, is a good way not only to get your inspiration from us, uh, but also you know, to, to, to look and see what else is out there. I've got to admit, I've got to admit that when, I, when, when they sort of invited all of us to have a go this year and come up with a few ideas, that's where I headed, first of all, to see what was kind of you know, hot on um, Pinterest and yeah, then absolutely. adapted a few of my ideas from there. There's always lots of ideas out there for you. And the only thing we never need ideas for is things like glue. I mean, our um, collateral purpose, I mean, that dries like concrete, so we don't need anything like that. Yeah. And then, um, and all our other glues, they're just amazing on the market that we have. Absolutely right. Absolutely. Right, so I'm going to switch now and grab my other packs. What have I done with them? There they are, because I want to use the black in here to do inside our giraffes. It's a shame our giraffe... Oh, actually, our giraffe has got a little tongue out. Do you know that giraffe's tongues are blue? I thought they were black. Uh, black well, they're sort of bluey black. Blue black. <laughs> ah. <laughs> was it black. I lose track here because we... La was it last year? I think it was last year we um, took uh, Daisy for her birthday to uh, Woburn Safari Park. Oh, we're going there at the end of the month. There were the giraffes there. But wasn't it... Was it you that said... It must have been if you love giraffes. Had a giraffe feeding experience? Was yes. That, that was you? That wasn't a woven safari though. Oh. Uh, where did we go for that? Oh, I've got a feeling it might have been Africa Alive. Where? Africa Alive. What's that? Oh, have you never been there? No. Oh, you've got to go there. Where is then. it? Um, it's between, uh, it's in Norfolk I think, but it's on the sort of between um, Lower Stoft I believe and yeah, I don't really know. We'll have to Google it. <laughs> G 
Good questions just yeah, come I in from um, Elsie, by the way. Uh, he says, hi, is there a right, wrong side of the watercolour paper? Sorry, what is was that? Is there a right or wrong side to the watercolour paper? No, either, either side, exactly the same all the way through. Oh, okay. um, lower stuff, yeah, it's in lower stuff. Oh, it's, um, I love it. I absolutely love it. Yeah, that's where we did the feeding. They do feeding experiences. You need a long ladder, um, wouldn't you? It's really good. <laughs> no, they bend down their necks. Oh, do they? Yeah, they go to you. Good news. And they literally, like, their big tongue, and they whirl it all round and pull it out. Yeah, you're right, you get really up close with them. What do you feed them? Um, bamboo. Is it bamboo shoots? All that grassy stuff they feed oh, them, I don't, don't they? I thought bamboo was... Um, not bamboo, pandas. but like bamboo leaves. And, well, oh. they're probably not bamboo at all. I'm probably just talking rubbish. Call yourself a giraffe expert. I didn't call myself a giraffe. <laughs> I know you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I do love giraffes. <laughs> They're, they are fascinating creatures, actually. And I think Sarah has done a brilliant job oh, of uh, capturing yes. their sort of inquisitive and like, really gorgeous nature in these stamps. She's done such a great they job They are them. so stunningly beautiful. Mm. And I love the fact that you're getting that added element of cutting it out. Right, so I'm going to bring in my other pieces that I've done so you can see how you can use your pens uh, to really give that sort of uh, beautiful ones. So I'm going to... Let me bring these in. So what I've done is I did this one first and then ah. I've just used blue around yeah. the edges. I mean, how gorgeous is this giraffe? And then what I've done is cut that out because you do get the dye inside this one as well. So if I just, oh, I'm, oh, it's right beside me. So cut your dye out and it means we can then decoupage over the top. Brilliant. I mean, how fabulous is that? So we're going to bring that to the side. We're going to put our little card together. Before I do that though, I am just going to bring in a piece of card um, and just show you how we can create a background because what I didn't do on the other one which I wanted to do was a bit of faux bleaching so I'm going to bring in my blue here so this is uh, it is ocean blue we've got in there isn't it yeah. I would I would rather use the um, uh, can't think what, I, what it's called. I would rather use the baby blue, and that is in there, but I don't have one to hand. You've so. got, yeah, you've got baby blue, lagoon, Chinese red, pink tulip, lemon tonic, sandstorm, orange, pine tree, grasshopper, parakeet, ocean blue, spring meadow, and the one that I'll never be able to call pale pig again, pale pig. Um, as pig. well. Uh, Debbie's brain is fascinating, says Donna Baker on YouTube. <laughs> uh, isn't it just? Yes, um, I think I'd call it something else, but uh, yes, yep. fascinating I will take. <laughs> Anne says, if they want ideas, we need tigers. Oh, um, I'm tigers. I'm not giving up on this. You Lions better give in. Lions and tigers and bears. Ha ha. Uh, let Leanne know, you know, uh, on the Tigers front, and absolutely, um, lots of ideas being submitting on our socials this evening, which is brilliant. And Deborah, sorry, Donna on YouTube says, we were feeding giraffes once and one stuck his head too close and I got licked. So gross. <laughs> I can imagine having that big slimy tongue. Ooh, yeah. Well, at Woven Safari Park, they do, they're wandering around, aren't they? So yeah. I think where, the, where your cars are, they can put your head... No, they're not loose, Nicola. They're in a, a like, like an enclosure. They're in an enclosure, but yeah. you can you drive through there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you can see them there. It's when the right. monkeys come out and rip your windscreen wipers off, isn't it? And pull <laughs> yeah. off your wing mirrors and stuff. <laughs> so what I did with this one is I then just got my sparkle pens, uh, and if you just use your sparkle pens, almost like a little flicker. So if you sort of bring this bring this out. And you just literally sort of flick onto your um, onto your cardstock, and you build up your colours, and then you get this sort of effect on the top. So we're going to use that as our background paper. I've got my uh, card. I thought we'd do a little stepper card. So all I've done is created my card blank with a little stepper on the bottom, um, and then we're going to actually put this into place. So I'm going to use I'm putting ink on everything here. Look, so but we are going to cover that. So. Um, just find all my other little parts. So we've got our um, our stand tool, which comes with the. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> you're laughing at that, mate. You haven't said anything. You're laughing. Well, it made me laugh, Dad, so. Oh, right, the giraffe's okay. probably thinking, well, I don't have any other choice. No, exactly right. <laughs> we should have had a... Is there a sentiment there saying, stick your neck out as well? That would have been good one. <laughs> or wind <laughs> your neck wind in. Wind your neck in. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine sending somebody a card? Yeah, wind your neck on? in. Oh, what a lovely card. I wonder what the set... <laughs> wind your neck in. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's another um, uh, idea, an oh, alternative range That's of sentiments for, uh, for cards. Johnny, don't you dare tell my joke. You know why, um, you know why giraffes have long necks, don't you? Um, I do, but why, why do giraffes have long necks? Because they've got smelly feet. <laughs> <laughs> is that the number one giraffe joke on Google, is it? Brilliant. <laughs> Probably because I've told it so many times. <laughs> so it's probably because you Googled it so many times. <laughs> it comes up, it comes up there number one because everyone Googles it. <laughs> oh Is it nearly nine o'clock yet? <laughs> so with this one, what we're going to do is we're going to use this on the front of our stepper. So I'm just going to glue this front bit down. So we'll just pop the front piece into place. Hold that on there. <laughs> and then we're going to pop this one. Let's uh, have our um, foam pads. Uh huh. And we're just going to pop that into place. Got another one from Johnny's joke book. Uh, why do giraffes make bad bosses? Because they can't see eye to eye with their employees. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as good as the snowy feet one, though, is it? It's not quite as good. Not quite as good. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're going to pop that on the top and then we've just got our stand tool which we're going to pop on the front there to finish off this beautiful card. But it just shows you what you can get with all these, uh, what you can do with all these different colours you have in this collection. And there we go, there's our giraffe um, with our little stepper. I think that that is my favourite demo potentially, uh, definitely of the show so far, maybe of the day. Aww. You'll get to vote for your demo of the day a little bit later on. Uh, get this collection though, if you missed it, if you're one of those people that missed out when it sold out, it is now back. It's stunning. The artwork is amazing. The sentiments that go with the artwork is off the chart. And the fact that you get a die with each of these to be able to cut out a portion of the actual stamp to give it that sort of decoupaged effect. So you've got the gorgeous owl who we saw earlier on. There's that giraffe. Absolutely brilliant. Stand tall and born to be wild. But just how gorgeous are these? Yes, just for those of you who were wondering, you don't get wind your neck in included. Uh, you've got an elephant there with the best sentiment I think we've ever done. I love this so much. Without love, life would be irrelevant. Uh, dream big and with love. Then you've got the unicorn. Um, believe in yourself. Have a magical day and stand out. And then we're completing this gorgeous set uh, with that stunning papillon as well. This is £75 or $100, oh sorry, $84 worth. You're getting it home today for £50.40 or $57.60 if you're a Platinum member. Um, what I will tell you as well is um, make sure if you haven't yet joined up in the club that you do because we've got a big event coming your way. Uh, full details will be revealed on Sunday, but if you check our socials right now, uh, you'll get a bit more of an idea as to what we have got coming up. More about that in a bit, but what about the tricolour markers as well? They're available for you individually. With this collection, you get the free storage as well. You saw the demo on these earlier on. Watercolour um, markers, water-based again, so you've got the ability to do so many different um, uh, uh, things with them. You've got the ability to blend with these. If you've seen Debbie already on the show today, so many different techniques. And of course, with the tricolor pens, three different colors within each pen. So you've got 12 markers, but it's actually 36 colors included. Just a great place to start your coloring, to get it up to that next level. And I just think particularly with um, watercolor products, you know, um, water-based products, uh, you've got so much versatility when it comes to all of the different techniques that you can do. This is another stunning um, uh, uh, range because you've got 2880 platinum or 4240, and you're gonna get your storage for free within that collection 
as well. Fantastic. If you want to go for it all though, by the way, uh, it is there in that mega bundle, which we will touch back on in just a while. Right. Uh, more comments coming through, which we'll have a look at in just a few moments time. I also want to recap on, or maybe even tell you for the first time about something which is very exciting, which has happened here at uh, Crafters TV today. More on that to come in just a little bit, but before all of that, uh, here is some information for you. Hi, I'm Sarah from Crafters TV, and I'm here to show you how you can get the best deals and shop while you watch during our shows. The best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. So head over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV Home where you can see all of our shows, plus exclusive offers, and even shop while you watch. Now, if you want to get involved and comment along, you can head on over to our community pages. Come say hello, ask us some questions and chat along live with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay our shows direct onto your big screen or stream us live through YouTube. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule. So don't forget to check in. It's never been easy to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV. So come join us as we create every day. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Johnny was just telling me again during the break then about that race that he saw recently between the giraffe and the ostrich. I said, giraffe and an ostrich having a race? Who won? He said it finished neck and neck. <laughs> the king of the dad jokes is in the house again, says Pamela on uh, YouTube. Uh, Beth is saying, I have the animal collection. They are beautiful. And uh, lots of love coming in for the, uh, the demo with the giraffe. Eileen saying, such a lovely demo with that giraffe. And thank you, Nancy, on YouTube, who said Chester Zoo had a series where they did a behind the scenes show. They showed uh, just about every type of animal being born. Giraffes are not the smartest animal, I learned from their show. Oh, they just drop, they just drop their young. Oh, yeah. They like, literally just fall, like, fall like out. literally like, just fall what, out. Just pop out. Yeah, they just pop out and drop to the ground. Poor little giraffes. Mm. And they have to just learn to walk on their own. <laughs> Imagine like you like this, aren't you, with your legs and have to get on What do they do? <laughs> do it again, what does the giraffe do when they... Well, they, they, they just drop like yeah. that, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> they have to sort of get up on their legs. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's have a look at the watercolour mega bundle <laughs> that we've got on the show. Um, now, we are very, very busy for this collection and I'll tell you for why because you have got something uh, for everyone here. And actually, right, if, you, if you're looking at this and thinking to yourself, um, there's a lot here, you can break this down and give these as gifts as well. Don't think about necessarily having this for yourself. You've got all of the sparkle pens in here. You've got your tri-colors in here. You've got all of the water reactive inks in here as well. This is a great way to be able to buy a load of gifts for lots of crafters in your life. But then also, as we said, if you, if you do want to get started on your uh, watercoloring journey, you've got literally pretty much everything that you need to get started in there. It's a massive bundle. It's 30 pens because we're going to give you uh, a wonderful collection of your sparkle pens and um, within this set. So 
you've got your soft pastels, your essential brights, your antique vintage, your earthy naturals, your tint and tones, and your clear overlays in there. That's your top row. Then um, as you come down, you've also got your tricolors included in there as well. So these are the ones that we've seen used on the show. Again, water-based, and you've got all of the different techniques that you can do with these, and the three different colors per pen. So perfect, again, you know, for, for blending, perfect if you're not quite sure which colors are gonna blend perfectly with us. It's, it's all been kind of thought out for you, and we're gonna give you the storage wallet for free um, as well. And also, within this collection, you've got all of the ink pads included as well. 13 of those uh, in the following colors. You've got baby blue, lagoon, Chinese red, pink tulip, lemon tonic, sandstorm, orange, pine tree, grasshopper, parakeet, ocean blue, spring meadow, and pale pig as well. It's worth £195 or over $260. You're paying today just £108 as a platinum member or $148, which of course, if you're shopping with this in the US, gives you your free shipping as well. So either treat yourself to the best watercolour bundle I think that we've ever done, or actually go to yourself, saving myself a bit of money here on potentially a lot of gift ideas. Um, for my crafty friends. Platinum members here in the UK works out at £2.45 per item. Can you imagine doing that individual? Imagine, 2 45 2 45 2 45 I mean, the sparkle pens normally £4.30 each, £2.45 in this deal. It is a fantastic bundle. I would have a serious think about jumping in and grabbing this tonight. Um, lots of lovely uh, comments coming in, by the way. Uh, Mary saying, Debbie does a great giraffe impersonation. Uh, <laughs> it, the giraffe is probably slightly better than the Sean Connery <laughs> that we saw earlier on. Plenty. <laughs> Uh, but Trudy says, CC is more than products to me. Uh, they harken back to my childhood across the globe, uh, and that is priceless. Um, and Lynn says, oh, I've done my voting. CC all the way. Hashtag Crafters Companion for the win. Um, we will show you after this next demo what you need to be voting on because the uh, Best of Craft Award nominations are out. Uh, and not only have we had uh, 11 nominations, uh, but also I've just heard now uh, that we've had 12 with Debbie uh, getting a nomination for Best Giraffe Impression. <laughs> uh, so we'll give you details on how you can vote for all of those in just a little while. But proving very popular on the show today not only the mega bundle but the collection with your flowers your birth month flowers um, just to recap on that again you're getting a huge saving and a hundred bonus points if you jump in and grab it today 64 pounds or 76 dollars for a 200 or 240 dollar um, collection it's an unbelievable buy is this um, let's get on over to Debbie and have a look at what she's going to be colouring in next. Which month have you gone for, Debbie? November. Ooh. Yeah, so we're going for the chrysanthemum. Uh, it's such a beautiful flower. And what I love about this one is if you are new to colouring, this is a great one for you to have. Uh, I mean, all of them are good stamps, but actually this one has really good line in it uh, to, to show you where your shading will be, which is great. And it comes really uh, in hand with our sparkle pens. So I'm going to be using so the first ones I'm going to be using the lighter colors that I've got um, I think these are out of our past uh, soft pastels so I'm going to be using our rose quartz and our soft jade and then our macaroon from um, which ones are these from vintage Yep, antique vintage. So we're going to mix, having a mixture of them because these two colours mix beautifully together because you've got that sort of lighter colour and the dark and then we've got this one for our leaves. Now, as with all these stamps, they are photopolymer, so they stamp absolutely beautifully. I love the fact, again, that you are getting all your dies to cut these all out. You're getting your little um, tag die here, which is great. So it means all these sentiment dies will fit inside there. Then you're getting your leaves. It just all looks beautiful. 
Brilliant. You've even got your little bud on there. They haven't forgot anything. So this one is for your little bud. So just going to pop our um, watercolour. So I've been using, just in case anyone's wondering, I've been using watercolour card uh, throughout. It's our uh, cardstock of choice because it is the one that is beautiful on here. So let's pop that onto here and then give that one down. Uh, and then I'm going to be bringing in, so um, you'll see that I'm using my flagstone quite a lot um, because it's the, uh, it's the one that's not so dark as the black, but it gives a really nice line. So it is my favourite, um, but any one that you choose is going to work absolutely amazingly with these stamps. Just make sure that if you are buying any of the waterproof products, uh, water reactive products today, you do need to go for the waterproof dye. If you are going to use yours with mainly the alcohol markers then you want to get alcohol proof dye so just stamping that down you can see I mean look at that I mean even these tiny little lines every single one stamps out absolutely perfectly here we go extreme close-up coming up extreme look at that but Amazing. that's a great way to show you isn't it absolutely. how beautifully it does stamp well, we always so say, don't we, we don't hide anything. Mm. Uh, and we want you to see that. We want you to see how well everything comes together, how well it stamps. Uh, you can't go wrong with photopolymer stamps because they do look absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so we're just going to do a little bit of colouring and then we're going to put a card together this time. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my um, pen and we're going to just go directly to uh, our actual flower. And I'm just going to do, I'm just going in circular motions, just going around that first part. I'm not going to do too much because I don't want that to, that to dry too much before I then get my um, uh, next pen on. I'm flicking everywhere here. So when you, and I'm just going to just, there we go, wipe that down. <laughs> so just going to touch into places here and it will, it will start to spread because we've already put that uh, that down and i'm only putting those dots where your actual um lines Ooh, look at where it. the lines go so that will just spread itself because we've already put this down now if you wanted it not to be so wet i'm just going to tap on that just to take that up you then just you can wipe the excess first of all on before you then go in and paint and that will just can you see it's not so um watery when it comes out so, because when you shake them, you're actually shaking everything into this barrel to start with. Yeah. So, I just then want to get that lighter colour coming out onto those petals. And that will still help with spreading that beautiful colour in the middle. We can still go in and add and then bring that out. You could even use that as a palette because if I pick up some of that, I can put some of the darker um, edges on the, onto the... Uh, Sorry, the darker ink onto the edges. What, so what are you do? Picking up the darker colour from the pick inside? Up, yeah, so if I wanted to water that down a little bit more, I can then bring that in. Can you see? Yeah. With the darker colours a little bit added onto there. Because it's watercolouring, it's just so easy to do. And then if I bring in my uh, jade one, we can then do our leaves the same. And you can actually make shading even with the same colour. So what you would do is put this down and then let it dry and then you just go back in where you want your shading and it will just go darker because you're layering on top so you would just leave that to dry then go back in and uh, leave it uh, it wouldn't be so what nicola's asked if it would be more sparkly it wouldn't be more sparkly it would be the same amount of sparkle in there uh, but you'll get as that dries you'll see that the sparkle then gets more and more intense so you can see that middle part where it's starting to really dry, you're getting that gorgeous sparkle in there. Absolutely beautiful. So once you've done those, I'm going to bring this bit in here. Now I've cut some of these out already, but look at the intense sparkle we're getting from it once it's dry. Oh, there we go. I mean, yeah, when, it's fully, when it's fully dry and it's all in there. I mean, look at that. It's yeah. so pretty. Such they're beautiful pens to use. Again, and I know I say it all the time with our spectrum stuff, but I really wish I could put it in your hands for you and for you to colour with it because it just lays down amazingly well. How do you decide where to start with a collection like this as well? Do you know what I mean? How do you choose what you're going to use first, or how do you choose what you're going to use on what stamp? I just don't think I'd know where to start. There's but, so much. Yeah, but do you know what? The sets like this are fantastic because for me, it's giving you 
all the sets of all the best colours, yeah. all the starter points to use. Um, and you just start at the beginning. So for me, if anyone has not had any colouring yet, or done any colouring yet, and this is their first journey into our colouring system, um, I would suggest starting with your ink pads. Start with your ink pads, learn how to blend. You can also colour with your ink pads. We've not even done that. In fact, perhaps we should show a little bit of that. Um, I'm trying to think what we've got. I can show a little bit of colouring with ink pads because that's a really good thing to have as well. In fact, we can do it just on this leaf, can't we? So if I bring this one in, what colours have we got over there? Have we got a green? We have got, I will tell you, you could have a uh, grasshopper. Uh, I haven't got a grass. I've got a uh, oh, spring meadow. Spring meadow we got in the, there in the we kit. There we go. We've got a spring meadow. So I'll just show you how easy it is. And in fact, what we'll do, I'm just going to put some on my mat there. So you can uh, see yeah. we're putting it on our mat. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to bring in that clear sparkle brush. Because I can pick now that up with our clear sparkle. And we can paint directly with our clear sparkle brush. And, part, uh, and paint with our ink pads. Also I mean, in the Mega Bundle, by the way. Yeah. How amazing is that? That we can, I mean, look how gorgeous that looks. And that's with our uh, ink pads. So I would start with our ink pads. Uh, and what's great about these as well is if you were going to, I'm going to bring in my, um, I'm still bring my yellow one here, just add green to it and pick that up as well. Do you know what as well, just looking at the way you're using that ink pad again, it just goes to show you how far all of these products go as well because you, know, you talked about using the, um, the tricolour uh, pens just by putting a bit down on the mat going a long way mm -hmm. and using your pads like this they last a really long time as well don't they oh do you know what i've i'm i'm not actually sure when our ink pads come out but it's got to have been a good couple of years ago uh, and i've never replaced one are you joking no no no, no. I've, and that's on it honestly and i've never replaced and it. that's from somebody like yourself Uses who's obviously crafting day yeah. in day out yeah all the time wow all the time and i've never replaced them so uh, uh i'd like to hear if anyone's replaced them because i honestly can't believe that they have yeah. Because no, that's not true. I would believe you if you told me. That. <laughs> yeah. I've replaced you. I, I don't believe, believe you. you. I don't believe you. Yeah. <laughs> but I know what you're may, trying to say. They use yours more than me. Yeah. <laughs> but what I love about this, so I've just put some of our ink on the bottom, and this is what I'm saying. Try these out first. Just give that a little a splatter in because they're water reactive. It means that when you put your water on it, that sucks up all that colour. And then if I lay this tissue just on the top. I can make all these water techniques as well, hey. even with ink pads. So it doesn't matter that you've got pens, so whether you're using pens, your ink pads, your sparkle pens, all of these will work in exactly the same way. And what I would ask you to do is to go online and type in, in whether it's YouTube, Pinterest, uh, watercolour techniques. Um, you'll find loads from us here, all the team will do all different tutorials um, that are on there. We've done lots of Colour Me Happy shows. So there's plenty out there to keep you going with this watercolour. So if you're not sure and you're new to colouring, um, absolutely, this bundle is for you because it is the, the one you need to do all your watercolouring techniques. And you've got a bit of everything. I love that we put these bundles together yeah. because you've literally, it's a, almost like a just try it all, but for such a good price. And, and like you've just said as well, if you figure into the fact, so, you know, from Debbie's experience, particularly with those ink pads, what, a couple of years um, and, and not ever had to think about changing them. It's not as if you're going to pay that amount tonight and then, you know, in three weeks time be going, oh, well, my ink pads have run out, you know, I've got nothing left in my pens. You know, th th this is a considered purchase, let's just say, but actually for that price today, it, it, yes, it is an investment because it's, it's a collection that you're going to come back and be using for days, weeks, months, potentially years to come. Um, and also the fact that you've got a little bit of everything in there, or a lot of everything in there really, should I say, you're only going to get more confident um, with your colouring and you're only going to try more and more oh, of absolutely. the different techniques. Yes. And you'll be tuning in more on a Friday at this time to watch Colour Me Happy to see what else you can do with your watercolour collection. You'll be going back to the shows that we've already uh, done um, on YouTube, bookmarking them to find out what other things that you can try. So it is really um, a, a great investment. Investment is the word, I think. 
Yeah, absolutely. And you are spot on. You will come back for more, uh, especially ink pads, because once you have the water reactive ink pads, you're just going to want the quick drying ones. You're going to want the pigment ink pads. Uh, and what I would recommend is buying your favourite colours. Try them because you will absolutely love them and come back for more colours. Um, even just saying, I love the colour that you use, Debbie. Could you put drawing gum on the flower and colour the background? Oh, absolutely. Yep. Yeah, go for that. That would be beautiful. I love drawing gum. Um, I don't think it's on the show, is it? That's why. It oh, is on the show. On I've the got the some show. just down to my How left hand side. That? Oh, I did have. Uh, I've absolutely missed oh, it. Oh, it's gone. Um, I'm not sure if we've got any under here. Oh, that's a shame. I haven't got none either. Mm. Uh, yeah, I didn't even know. Um, apologies. I, I didn't actually know it was on the show. So huge apologies for that. Uh, absolutely use your drawing gum. It's such, it's one of the best gums I've ever used. Um, I think more so because it, um, it goes such a long way. I've never known a quick drying gum like it is that rubs off just beautifully, doesn't leave any residue. So yes, absolutely use your, um, use your gum. It was actually on launch day, by the way. We, I definitely saw it down in Raleigh, but the, the, the shows and days just merge into one, but it was from the launch day show if you want to uh, grab it from there. I thought, I thought it would be like me to miss it because I'm terrible. I skimmed through all our, um, our emails. Yeah, but also this show, so many goodies on this show as well. It's easy sometimes to miss uh, individual items um, which are on the shows. Um, of course, yeah, yeah, you can shop the show, all laid out on the website for you as well. Uh, everything there for you at crafterscompanion.com.co.uk or .eu. Uh, Sue Hints on YouTube just saying, I'm learning so much about colouring today. Thank you, Debbie. Oh, you are very welcome. And thank you to Karen as well on Facebook who said, I've sent a joke through uh, for Dad Joke King Ben. Are you ready for this joke? <laughs> this is brilliant. This is brilliant, Karen. I'm going to be using this one for weeks to come. <laughs> I've taught my pet owl to tell really bad jokes. Can he tell one now? No, he's knock nocturnal. <laughs> <laughs> That oh is brilliant, dear. Karen. <laughs> My pet owl is knock nocturnal. That is brilliant. Thank you, Karen, so much for that one. I shall be taking that one as my own. And Johnny's writing it down as well, he's just said in the gallery. <laughs> oh, dear. That's, that is funny. That is Very good. Funny. I've not heard that one before either. Very good. Very good. Eve, we've only got 25 minutes left. Oh, wow. Where has that time gone? Absolutely flown by. We'll have to get voting for demo of the show shortly. Oh, I want to tell you about the um, nominations as well for Craft Awards, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, so much to do in the last 25 minutes. A little bird. I had another bird. Never mind. There's, some, there's one under your card, isn't there? Where is it? Just under your card. Oh, no. A bud. No, the little bud, isn't it? Yeah, a little bud. Mm. I, had a, I had two buds, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're going to put our leaves up here instead of our bud. So we've nearly finished tuck them underneath and then we're going to put our little uh, let's put this on a there we go so enjoy your day and then we'll just pop our leaf under there fantastic is that and there we go. So that makes up our beautiful card uh, with our gorgeous chrysanthemum on the front there using those gorgeous sparkle pens. And there we go. Fantastic. That one, of course, part of your uh, birthday month florals. Uh, that is a mega deal. This is also genuinely a mega deal. I cannot believe we have got a bundle this size uh, of all of our um, watercolour goodies. Um, it's probably the biggest bundle I've seen of its type okay. on the channel, and you can pick it up this evening uh, for an amazing deal. It's £195 worth. It's a hundred or oh, $268 worth for £108 or $148. And as we've said, you think about all of the 13 uh, water reactive ink pads that you've got in there in all those different colours, how long those are going to last you. You think about um, all of your sparkle pens that you've got in there, all of the tri-colour pens included in there as well, how long they are going to last you. And just off this show alone, how many different techniques you are now able to try 
with this complete collection. As we said, do you know what? You can be coming back to this time and time again because A, not only will it last, but B, you've got loads to try off this show. You'll be able to go back onto our YouTube page and check out other Colour Me Happy shows and pick up other ideas you know, from our other experts as well. So you will not uh, be stuck for ideas. And the more you work with these, uh, the more confident you'll get, uh, the better you'll see that your colouring becomes. And I just think this is a great night tonight to jump in and grab this bundle. It's the best way to go if you want to get it all, £108 or $148. But if you do want to get individual elements as well, you can break it down into the smaller bundles, which are on the show page on our website. Uh, but yes, jump in, grab it tonight. Do not miss out. Right. Let us chat about something which happened earlier on today on, uh, well, actually, we first announced it on Wake Up Call, which uh, Nicola was just saying, it seems like that was yesterday. It, it has been such a busy day. We've had so much going on. Uh, earlier on today, we were delighted to tell you that we have been nominated at the Best of Craft Awards 2021. And it's not just one nomination or two nominations. Read that lot on your screen. Thank you so much to everybody who nominated us in 11 different categories. 11 different categories categories. Um, so you've nominated us in the best, uh, most loved craft TV shopping channel, uh, in the most loved UK crafts chain store, best brand for crafts, best rated customer service, uh, favourite die cutting range, uh, the ultimate gadget and machine for the Gemini Junior, and then of course male craft personality of the year, uh, Craig has been nominated. He is over the moon um, and I've also seen on um, Sarah's uh, social media that she is super chuffed as well uh, to have been nominated for female craft personality of the year and thoroughly deserved too for Leanne who has been nominated uh, for the designer of the year award amazing but it doesn't end there because Craftaganza has been nominated in the ultimate craft holiday category and then the best workshop and online class, our little old craft along, which has only been going for a few months, has made uh, it, it made it into the uh, the final five or, or however it is. Um, I just think that is amazing. So thank you so much for that. Eleven nominations, but it doesn't end there, of course, because now we've been nominated. We want to win some of these awards. We want to win all of the awards. So if you could just, if you get time over the weekend, head to the craftawards.com page and you'll be able to vote for us in those categories. You know, we are under no illusion that we will be uh, up against some tough competition, uh, but we would love, love, love it if you would vote for us. And if we can win one, amazing. If we could win two, that would be fantastic. Imagine if we won three, four, five, six, or seven. Imagine if we got them all. Uh, but a big thank you to everyone who has already nominated and uh, fingers crossed. Now, uh, on the website right now, some limited stock deals for you. So all of these limited, get them whilst they're here. Uh, if you've been loving all of the watercolour uh, demonstrations on this show, what about some aqua blends in your life? Artist watercolour pencils. We've got the uh, Primaries 24 set collection for you, uh, available at 21.59 or 28.76. Also in that range, the, uh, the florals. All of these, as I say, are uh, limited stock items. Then you've got the Essentials 24-piece collection, all at that amazing platinum price. And uh, then we've got the 12-piece set as well. So this is your Vivid Hues, £12 or $16. We've then got your earth tones. These are crazy prices. Again, just over £12 or $16, all limited stock, uh, all will go. So be quick if you want to grab yourself a little bargain. Uh, lovely cards, Debbie, says Mary, Pat. Uh, loving the colours used. Uh, going to card lift this one for sure. Um, and um, Ilona Brown on YouTube says, I think Debbie should be nominated for giving us the most laughs and funniest demos, i.e. wax seal, <laughs> Spowl. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this one as well. Cross rabbit. The cross. Do you remember oh. cross rabbit? Oh yes. <laughs> forgot about the cross <laughs> rabbit. <laughs> that was from the um, the craft kit, wasn't it? The pop out. Uh, <laughs> the pop out rabbit. It was the pop out box. Yeah, craft um, yeah. kit. And there's a rabbit. And did you, what did you do? He had like. I added little eyebrows. I added little eyebrows. Yeah. And his eye. Right, instead of very, being like. Very cross. That, it didn't look really, really cross. I'd forgotten about that. Cross rabbit. Uh, <laughs> an elephant shaped flower forming box. I mean, that's. Uh, <laughs> 
that's one which they all do, to be honest. Uh, many, many more. You guys are awesome, oh, says Eleanor. Thank so thank you so much for that. Uh, I used to just say, yes, I've just got a CC delivery, opening it right away. I used to say, what, are, what have you got? We want to know what you've got in your delivery. Um, and Joanne has just said, I say it should be a Crafters Companion sweep at the awards. Thank you. It will be, with your help, it will be. Fingers crossed. Um, just want to recap on the uh, sparkle glitter brush pens that we brought to you on the show today as well. Uh, again, 18 colours you're going to get in total. What you will notice with these is that we kind of um, rejig them, if you like, um, probably a month or so back now. New packaging, uh, same colours, but we've uh, put together different colour combinations um, in the actual sets. Um, so have a little look at these but again what i would say to you is if you love the idea of using your sparkle uh, glitter brush pens this is a great way to go for it individually um, away from the bundle it's 51.96 or 67.80 within the collection you've got your bright your soft pastels your antique vintage earthy natural your tin tan tone and the clear overlay pens are included in there as well so 18 of your uh, glitter brush pens for that price today 51.96 or 67 dollars 80. We've got just under 20 minutes to go, so I reckon if we can get another demo in, then we'll get you to vote for your demo of the show, we'll get you to vote for the demo of the day, and then that should be a wrap. So, what are we going to look at finally? So, we thought we'd do a bit of heat embossing. Oh, okay. Uh, so, I'm bringing in these big um, uh, flower stamps. These are gorgeous. My one, you can see, is very dirty. It's been very much loved and used, uh, and I'm going to be using the thanks. Now, I've already stamped it out, and then I've just added my clear embossing powder over the top. Now I love this technique because it means that we can uh, create a resist technique because none of this uh, will catch the actual ink that we're putting on uh, because it's water based. Now again if you were to use alcohol markers on it it would colour that in. It would just mean you'd have a shiny patch but because we're using our sparkle um, inks it means that that's going to go over there beautifully. So I'm just going to give them a shake. So the first thing we're going to do now, if I did have the um, the gum to work, the um, drawing gum, yep. we could put that inside these flowers. But what I am going to do is just give a background wash, and then we're going to go back in with a completely different colour. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to add this colour uh, directly onto here. So I'm just going to put it on, and we're going to add the green. So I'm just going to give that a little squeeze. Whoa! So hello. That. <laughs> and then we're going to go blue again. You get great coverage with these, don't you? So these colours, yeah, so the blues and the greens come out of the pastels, actually. Uh, yes. Yes. So what have you got? So is that soft jade and soft moonstone? Soft jade moonstone, yeah. yeah. So we are going to, where's my uh, brush? And all I'm going to do is hold, put my brush, we need a little bit more water there and just give that a brush over the top. Oh, look at this. So not too much water. Oh, we've got another piece of car. That was because I was going to show the technique of stamping, where actually I thought it would just be nice to go straight over the top because we'd already stamped it. So just brushing that in. Um, yeah, so that makes a beautiful background. Now at the moment it doesn't look anything because it's not, well it does, it looks, it looks pretty good. Yeah it does, but as it dries it will, uh, get, it will get sparkly, so we're going to give this a little bit of drying. So nice to use these over the top. So just drying that down. I do love a resist technique. Just looks really beautiful. And then we're going to do the same as what we did before, where we're going to take some out. So I'm going to actually use my brush to take out some of the leaves. But you'll be able to see that sparkle now. Once that's dry, look at that intense spot. Look at that. Oh, now you're showing it. It's that. just Oh, beautiful. wow. Yeah. Flick it the other way. Yeah. I mean, that oh, is yes. glistening. <laughs> yeah, so, so pretty. But what we are going to do now, I'm going to take out just a little bit because I want the, to get the true colour of the uh, orange pen. We're going to use the, um, what's it called? It's called Harvest Moon, which is in the... Um, Harvest Moon is, is in the, da -da 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 hang on. Forest colours It's in or the uh, Earthly Naturals. Earthly Naturals. So let's just take that out. 
I love faux bleaching. I think it's great. Even though it's like it makes sense, it still looks so good to do. So literally taking that out there, and we're obviously turning it back white, but don't worry, the colour will come back into there. Because remember, we have white uh, heat embossing. Do you know what? Um, Sandy Clayton has just messaged, and Sandy, you've literally just read my mind. I was about to say, we've learned so many techniques over the last hour and 45 minutes, and Sandy's gone, I love learning so many techniques here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Aww. Yeah, so many different ideas and techniques. And um, as I've said, that's why I think the uh, Mega Bundle particularly uh, is the go-to bundle tonight because you, you've got so much to, um, to try out, even yep. from just this show. Oh, so much so. I really do like it when we do uh, bundles like this yeah. because it really does um, help with people's creativity. So taking that last one out and then we're going to go in with our orange and then we're just going to, I'm just going to make sure I've not got too much ink coming out first. And then when we paint this one over the top, it will just seep into all of those little nooks and crannies. That's really mm. clever. Yeah, it goes. <laughs> it's gone quiet. We've gone into a colouring coma. And I needed uh, to dry that. I can see it's a bit wet. Can you see it just started to bleed then into this piece here? Yeah. But if I just mop that up there, that will then show. You can see our actual flower popping out. So it's a really cool. Uh, my pen seems to be coming out fast here. I must have given it one too many squeezes. So just doing that one. And then we'll go into our other ones. Yeah, it is nice. And you know what's really funny is we have hardly touched on all the different background techniques that you can do. Mm. Um, I've sort of concentrated more on colouring in. Can you see, we're hard because I didn't bleach that one out, how dark that's gone. Yeah. So that's why it's good to bleach out because you then get your true colour. Like this one could have been bleached out a little bit more as well. But that flower that you coloured there first, uh, which is now at the top of the screen on the right, you can almost see like like coming to life before your very eyes as it dries. Yeah, it's really totally. awesome to see. Yeah, totally. So let's just do this one here. Yeah, I mean, there's techniques such as the salt technique, the oh, cling yes. film background. Film, uh -huh. Yeah, there's so much you can uh, do. I've done a, um, a yeah, shaving foam. We haven't done If Joe was here, we would have to do the shaving foam. That's his. Yeah, he asked the other day, and then we never done it. Oh, dear. I've seen that yeah, two or three times, I think. Um, oh, Joe wants it shown all the time. It's his favourite thing. Oh, is it? He loves it. He absolutely loves it. And he loves doing it as well. It smells nice as well afterwards, doesn't it? Yeah, it smells really nice. <laughs> Depending on which one you have. <laughs> but there you go. So colouring those flowers, getting that uniqueness there with that uh, beautiful background. Uh, and then we're just going to put our quick card together. And it is a really super quick card. So we're just going to pop these together. Let's, uh, where did I put? They're right in front of me. My tape pens. So pop these into play onto our cards. I've kept it nice and bright for those beautiful daffodils. We've got that full collection on the show for you as well, by the way. If you did want to go for uh, that, the floral sentiments. Uh, how many do you get? One, two, three, four, Quite a few, five, actually. six, seven. Oh, eight, is it? You get congrats, enjoy, sorry, sister, hello, thanks, friend. There's one more. Is it mum? Mum. Mum. No, I haven't got mum. You haven't got a mum? Well, I have got a mum, but I haven't got... I, not, she's not here. No, she's not here, but the mum... She's, she's outside to pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? That would be hilarious if she was here. <laughs> 350 miles down the road. <laughs> what are you doing here? Come to take you home. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to snip off my uh, little wings there. And there we go. We've got our uh, beautiful bright topper there. I love that. Oh my, which one is going to be your demo of the show? There have been some fantastic techniques, some fantastic hints, uh, but there can only be one winner in this show. Nicola, you can't have them all. How many have you done? One, two, three, 
four. Four. We've done some others, yeah. but we've not done them into cards. All right. So, well, um, number yes. them up for us, Debbie. Let's see what you've done so we okay. can get voting. So number one was our daisies, and I've put that onto just a little card mm. blank. Uh, number two is the giraffe. Uh, number three is the chrysanthemum. chrysanthemum. And number four is the thanks. Mm. What is your favourite? One, two, three or four. Um, it will be interesting. Let's give you three or four minutes to get your vote in on that really, really quick. And then we'll do the demo of the day. The animals, there's so many great deals on this show. If you loved the um, giraffe that you've just seen a few moments ago, the giraffe is included in your illustrated um, animal stamp and die collection. As I say, what I love about this, not only the artwork, but the fact that you get those stamp, uh, those dies in there as well, should I say, to be able to actually just cut out a portion of the different animals to create some really cool 3D effects. There's that, that giraffe. Possibly one of my favourite stamps, I think, that we've launched this year. Just gorgeous. The attention to detail in the artwork is phenomenal. And you've got some really cool sentiments in there as well. Of course, the elephant would be best sentiment. Oh, the mic's gone. Mic's gone. Uh, Debbie, our point, you talk. Debbie, Okay. Oh, I've got my own samples. Oh. It's all right, Ben. <laughs> Let's see my... I've just took literally one of each because you don't need to see loads and loads of samples to know how beautiful these are. If we just look at this one here, look how absolutely incredible that looks. Uh, the attention to detail that Sarah has done is absolutely incredible. The sentiments in there are so fabulous. It's amazing. The our one, I mean, gel, I mean, it's just gorgeous absolutely love that one that comes with a for a special friend um you're a hoot i love that one uh, so so pretty and the way you color them just creates the most amazing animals uh, the elephant one is just fabulous i mean really really beautiful you're getting the dye that cuts the elephant out it looks amazing uh, and then go into the actual unicorn uh, we all love a unicorn but just look how magical that looks looks uh, just adding to it that would look beautiful with your sparkle pens you could add glitter to there everything is going to look magnificent and obviously you can't do a set without a butterfly the butterfly just looks so so pretty and use it with all your dyes you've got in the collection hello uh can you hear me debbie's mic has gone now oh debbie's has gone am i back Am I back? You could, you could tell it's come to the end of the show. Debbie's mic's gone now as well. Uh, someone needs to put 10p in the meter, I think. Uh, but, where was Debbie up to? I think she'd finished showing you the, the uh, collection. £50.40 or $57.60 is the deal. Uh, there's the elephant, which I got round to, with the best sentiment uh, on there. Uh, <laughs> Johnny's, Johnny's... Oh, hang on. Oh, we'll keep going. Uh, without love, life would be irrelevant. You've then got on top of that, that gorgeous <laughs> unicorn as uh, Debbie was talking about. I love the fact that we've incorporated in this collection, like your uh, kind of day-to-day -day animals and then your more uh, magical animals yeah, as well, let's just say, with that win. unicorn. And then you've got the Fantastic gorgeous now, butterfly included in there as well. <laughs> uh, right. £50.40 or $57.60 is the platinum deal on that. <laughs> uh, we have a result on the demo of the show. Thank goodness for that. The demo of the show is... Oh, John, you could fetch it for me, please, if you want to bring it over. Uh, the demo of the show is number two. Ah, oh, the giraffe. Uh, here he comes. Uh, thank you, John. In it comes. Thanks so much. Thank you. Uh, so the demo of the day. Right, let's do this then. So Craig's card earlier on, this really does seem like this was yesterday. Uh, demo of the day. So number one is Craig's card uh, from our Scenes of Light collection. That is the Three Wise Men card. So that's number one. Number two is then the beautiful card, uh, the fairy card, which uh, Debbie made earlier on on launch date. That also from the uh, Scenes of Light collection. So that's number two. Or you can have the one that you've just voted for as your demo of the show, the gorgeous giraffe from our illustrated animal collection. So number one, number two, 
or number three. Get voting now. I reckon you've got about three minutes to get your vote in for your favourite card, quick as you can, uh, and we will whack that up onto our Crafty Walk of Fame in just a few moments' time and it will be up for your vote uh, at the end of the week. Very quickly, before we do disappear, possibly the stamp bundle of the show is the, um, the birthday flowers. These are just brilliant, and, and as we said earlier on, it's so amazing to be able to have the different flowers for the different birth months. So if you know somebody's got a birthday in January, how nice to be able to send them a card with a carnation on. But actually, if you look at it from the point of view that you've got 12 of the possibly most popular flowers uh, to then just use on projects for whatever the occasion, um, you are quids in here. You get dies in there as well to be able to cut out all of the stamps as we're always providing you now uh, in with these collections. And the deal is phenomenal. Best deal of the show, I'll tell you for why. 200 pounds or 200 forty dollars 80 pounds or 95 dollars today so you're saving 120 pounds or 144 dollars platinum members get another 20 percent off 64 pounds or 76 dollars and then you're going to get 100 bonus points with this collection as well it's the star of the show for me and as we quickly flick through you can see all of the different flowers that you're going to get from your april uh, daisy lily of the valley in may your uh, rose in june your gorgeous delphinium in july you've got the amazing um uh gladiolus in august you've got the aster in september you've got your marigold in october chrysanthemum comes around in November and then lastly you've got the gorgeous poinsettia for December unbelievable bundle 223 elements uh, for that price is bonkers and 100 bonus points whilst we're waiting for the result of the demo of the day what about what is coming up tomorrow well it is going to be a busy old day uh, joe is back it's a joe and craig day craig in for the weekend uh, joe back as well on the first of his uh, six days in a row i think he's doing he is going to be T-I-R-E-D uh, this time next week. But we're looking forward to this. Play Your Crafts Right is name that squiggle. Uh, that's the game the guys are going to be playing at 12 o'clock here in the UK or uh, 7 o'clock Eastern time. And then the uh, Craft Along at 3, the Floral Spray uh, Stamp and Die Collection. Um, so make sure you can check out what you need to take part in that, by the way, uh, by checking out our socials where you'll find a full list of all the goodies that you need to take part. Uh, if you haven't yet got that collection, you'll be able to buy it tomorrow and then you'll have that two hour Craft Along uh, to get crafting with. What a day, what a show. Uh, thank you so much for all of the votes that have come in on the demo of the day. I do have a result for you. I can tell you that it is not number one, which means we have a Debbie winner. Oh, Debbie, Debbie has done it. Which one do you think has been voted for as the winner, Debbie? I think the giraffe. You think the giraffe? It's the fairy! Oh, yes! That is pretty. Ah, oh, it is pretty. Absolutely stunning. That one, of course, from our new uh, Scenes of Light collection. Gorgeous. Uh, you can go back and watch that show from earlier on and uh, you can pick up the deal as well uh, by going to our show page. That one's going to go up on our Crafty Walk of Fame. What a day, Debbie. What a day. I've thoroughly enjoyed myself. When are you back? I'll be back a week, a week tomorrow, so next Saturday. Oh, so, yes, I'm with you. We've all yeah. discussed this, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, we're back on the weekend, yeah. Uh, I will be back with you on... What day is it today? I'll be back a week today. What a <laughs> slacker. Oh, week tomorrow and week today. Six days off. Oh, I haven't got the days off. I'm at Creating Craft. Oh, you, I know. I knew you, that's what I mean. I'm, no, I'm talking about myself here. You've got I'm talking six about days off? Yeah. How'd you get that off? Well, because I know... Oh, I'm, so, yes. I so normally do three days, don't I? Yes. And then, obviously, Daisy's party tomorrow. Mm. So it just turns out that it's... I'm got, for those of you who go, like you message me, go hashtag part-timer, from September, you'll be sick and tired of me because I'm in, I'll be here four days then. It'll be four <laughs> days of me, four days of... So it'll all even itself out again. You'll be sick and tired of me by then, honestly. Um, well, listen, thank you to everybody for an amazing day today. Debbie's been awesome. Uh, John's been superb. Tracy's been fab. Uh, Johnny, I mean, he's just been brilliant. Uh, he's been Johnny, says Nicola. Uh, and Nicola as well, who's um, stepped in to help with the, well, she's been, she's been doing it, uh, the directing and the vision mixing today. Nicola, thank you so much. Always a pleasure. Uh, and thank you, you guys as well for uh, joining us today. Um, it is going to be another fantastic weekend. Don't forget, by the way, two things to remember. Get voting for us 
on our um, Best of Craft Awards 2021, 11 categories. We'd love you to vote for us in. Uh, you'll find that all over our social media, so you can uh, find exactly where you need to vote. And also, Sunday. Don't forget something very special happening. If you want to do something and you're not yet a uh, Club Inspire member, get joined up over the course of the next couple of days. I can guarantee you by the time Sunday rolls around, you will be glad that you did. And if you want to find out more about all of that, it is all there on our socials. But from all of us, a very big thank you. Don't forget to check out your baskets and there'll be more fun and frolics here on Crafters TV tomorrow.